Yo, Fortnite just announced some insane details about the upcoming tournaments, such as platform-specific tournaments and FNCS All-Star Showdown, which is gonna be absolutely insane, official dates for tournaments like Hive Cups or Cash Cups, and also a bunch of other stuff. So let's just take a look at what they have to say. Oh, and by the way, I make sure to cover every single tournament that comes out. So if you don't want to miss a single tournament, then make sure you are subscribed. Since, well, as you can see, yeah. And by the way, take a second and drop a like. It actually helps out so so much i know everyone says this but i mean for real dropping a like helps a lot can you get 200 people using my code please and thank you it's called auto click in the m shop okay let's go okay so let's take a look at the fncs all-star showdown super quick and then we'll get into the other platform specific tournaments and also the cash cups the hype cups and all of that okay so first they basically talk about how they observe our feedback and listen to us so like for example they remove the io guards rift fish shock waves and the storm scout sniper rifle so yeah i guess that's pretty cool so this is what they have for season 6 fncs of course they're gonna be trios it's gonna be cross platform but again don't worry because other tournaments are not going to be cross-platform only they are going to be platform specific and of course three million dollar prize pool and starts on april 22nd blah 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 your arena points have not reset but they will reset on march 23rd and then of course you're gonna have to get to the champion league so of course i'll make videos on how to do just that again make sure you're subscribed and yeah you're chilling so now this is what they did so far to this season so the first thing is quests cannot be carried over from game to game into competitive playlists and this is literally all because people in the fncs cheated some people say it's cheating some say it's not and got the snowball launcher really really easily in the fncs and that is why they won a bunch of games and qualified through grand finals so now you cannot do that and then the shockwave bow has been removed from the competitive playlists altogether which will means we have no mobility at all i don't know how we're supposed to rotate but okay dude sure and then the explosive bow cannot be crafted but it can be found as as floor loot so yeah cool so for season six their weekly schedule of competitive offerings will basically be the same so they will have cash cups hype cups friday night bragging rice and ltm tournaments which start later next week of course depending when you're watching this maybe it started already but also there's a bunch of more tournaments that are coming up which i will cover just in a second but now take a look at this the fncs all-star showdown mid-year invitational this is what we know about this tournament so this thing will begin on june 23rd and will last until june 26th and they say it is to give the top Fortnite players a showcase to put their skills on full display for an opportunity to earn a share of the three million dollar prize pool that is pretty wild take a look at what they say they say across the event players will compete in skills challenges a non-battle royale team-based competition and also a solo tournament so this fncs all-star showdown is gonna have a competition a team-based competition that is not a battle royale game mode so now this may be really really exciting because if you didn't know there was a bunch of leaks talking about fortnite modding and how fortnite modding may be coming out very very soon so this team based competition may be a part of that modding thing so we may see this modding feature coming out pretty soon or at least before june or of course it might be something like the world cup creative which was also pretty fun to watch but i think the modding feature is more likely to happen and they say the event format may vary per region i don't know why the formats will differ for each region but yeah cool so now if you actually want to play in this fncs author showdown well this tournament will be on an invite basis only so you have to be invited to this tournament if you actually want to play they say a limited number of invitations will be offered to players based on their final ranking at the end of chapter 2 season 5 or chapter 2 season 6 fncs so it is really important to actually do well in this fncs if you want to be invited and also consistent final rankings within the same team across both seasons fncs events will also factor in it is really important to keep the same teammates all throughout these fncs tournaments just find a solid trio and stay with them throughout all of these fncs if you actually want to get invited in these type of tournaments by the way if you don't have a trio just comment down below and someone will probably find you but before we take a look at the platform only tournaments they say that they will have a two-week break to recharge and you should too don't expect any competitions from june 28th through july 11th and of course on july 12th they will pick back up so it is gonna be pretty boring for those two weeks but don't worry because most likely i will be streaming so yeah i don't know if you care but stay tuned but okay this is what we know about the platform specific tournaments that are coming up very very soon so first are the mobile monday tournaments now if you're not mobile then don't worry i'm gonna go over this super super quick so here is the exact format for you guys for a victory royale you get 30 
points in total and each elimination is only one point. And yes, this tournament is going to be in a solos. Now here are the prize pools for this tournament and honestly, it is pretty insane. Take a look. First through 10th place, get a Samsung Galaxy Tab S10. What even is that? Dude, it's $650 for this thing. But also, first place gets $650, second gets $500, third gets $450, and it goes all the way down to the top 75th place. We get $200. Dude, top 75 for a mobile tournament? That is really, really good. Take a look at this. The solo cash cup only goes down to top 25. We get also $200. So this whole cash cup has a way lower price pool than a mobile tournament. Pretty insane, right? And by the way, this will happen on NA East and NA West only. So that is kind of unlucky, but wait, this thing is $730. The Samsung Galaxy Tab, what? Wait, that's actually crazy, dude. But yeah, you don't have to actually sign up for the tournament. You just simply hop in a game and play. And it's gonna happen on the 22nd and also the 29th. And for the players who play in iOS, you cannot play on it. <laughs> and for the players who play on iOS with Nvidia, you cannot play this tournament. Unfortunately, you cannot, but this is a rule from this tournament. Yep. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. But now here are all the other tournaments that you're waiting for. So first we have the Friday night bragging right tournaments. And these tournaments are going to be platform specific. So as you can see, they're split into Xbox and PS4, then mobile and Nintendo, and then well, of course, PC. And just like last season, this is going to be in trios as well. So if your teammates are on PC and you're on Xbox, for example, then well, you cannot play Friday night bragging rights tournaments with each other. But of course, Xbox and PS4 players, for example, can play together. So okay, then we have the Pulga Cup, as you can see right here, which is going to have three rounds in total. And this Pulga Cup is going to be in a duos. So personally, duos is my favorite game mode to play. But of course, I'll make a whole nother video about Pulga Cup specifically. So stay tuned for that. So then of course, we have the Solo Cash Cups. It's the exact same thing as last season. Nothing has changed. The price pool is the same. First place gets $600 and it goes down to top 25 to get $200. Not the best, but it is what it is, I guess. The mobile tournament is still so much better. But then we have the Trios Cash Cup. Again, the exact same thing. Price pool, well, the same. Yeah cool and then boom we have the hype cup so this thing is really gonna help you get to the champion league so you can play all of these tournaments because by the way if you didn't know these solo cash cups and trio cash cups are for champion league players only so if you actually want to play in these tournaments well then you must be in the champion league and look they start pretty quick the first tournament is on the 3rd of april and unfortunately the first hype cup is well on april 5th so it is after those cash cups and just like last time this is going to be in the trios as well and here is the hype distribution now you do have to split this between your trio so each person gets 500 hype for top one percent oh look a flopper invited me yeah you're in my video what do you want to say right now uh yeah what's going on y'all so make sure to leave a like and subscribe share the video so we can help more people up you know the vibes and yeah <laughs> you already know the vibes <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> drop a like subscribe and of course make sure to use code auto click in the item shop and by the way make sure to join our discord down below in the description if you want to i don't know talk or whatever yeah pretty cool okay bye bye